Let's begin with some type and turning it into 3D text. You can select the text and notice that the properties panel becomes activated. We can change the extrusion. We can even go through presets and look how fast it is. The CS6 3D engine is much faster than CS5. Let's have a look at the deform properties. We'll see the presets and extrusion appear again along with twist, taper, horizontal X and Y and you can apply many of these on canvas with our OpenGL tools. Extrude, taper, but you also can apply these in the panel. If you want to be precise or just use a slider. Let's step back a few. Going to the caps, we have all kinds of options for bevel. Super wide bevels. How about we change the color of this text so we can see more of these properties in action. In fact, why don't we add lines? Well, maybe not that many lines. Let's change the angle threshold. There we go. Now back to our text. We'll talk more about the render options at another lesson. I'm going to create a larger bevel here so we can see more of what's going on here. In fact, I'm going to start over so we get a clear picture. There's a very, very broad bevel width here. When I go to the contour editor, as you can see, it changes. And it changes live, and it's really fun to look at. And you can edit it as well live on canvas. Look at that. If you have not been using the contour editor in a few years, or ever, this will be an opportunity to check it out again. Because you can apply this to text, shapes, and any 3D extruded object in Photoshop. It's super fast and it's super fun and it's waiting for you in CS6.